While doing the automation, of course, we have to daily deal with the locators. It can be either ID, name, class name, or link text, or any of the locator. Using those locators, we write our test script. Now, of course, in most of the website, we cannot see the ID or name or the class name static. So they, they might be dynamic and at sometimes there might not be even ID or the name. So in that scenario, of course, we have to go with the X path. There are two types of X path majorly. One is this absolute and another one is this relative. We never prefer this absolute X path. The reason is in absolute X path, we have to write from the root of the HTML document. For example, if I want to find a simple text box, I have to go from the HTML tag and then I have to follow the body and in the body I have to go to the div and from the div I have to go to the button or maybe the input tag. But in terms of relative XPath, I can locate the button or the input